Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dauntless Dom. I'm back with another video today. Today's focus, I figured we would look at Funko Pops and the little collection I do have. So yeah, for those who don't know, Funko Pops are basically little tiny vinyl statues that are stylized into characters from various television series, anime, movies. I think they even have them based off music. They even have a just seen it recently, a Bob Ross one, which is pretty cool. And they make a great gift for anyone who's super into movies and pop culture. Fairly inexpensive. They, they're, they're really cool. Now that you guys know a little more about Funko Pops, we'll dive right into my collection. Alright, here's the little collection I do have of seven. Not a whole lot, but you know, we're, we're working on it. It's, it's still in the progress of the makings. I figure I'll start from the first ones I got to my most recent ones. We'll start off with the first one. This is Brian Johnson from The Breakfast Club. If you have not seen that movie, you should definitely look into it. They didn't make a whole lot for this line, only six, but that's about as many as the characters that are in the whole movie. He was my very first one I got from Hot Topic. He was actually on clearance, so I was like, why not? Let's give this Funko Pop thing a try. And, you know, I have, like, seven now. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Um, there weren't... Now, with these, there can be a little bit of paint effects with the Funko Pops. You can see right here, it's kind of hard to tell, but on his wrist where his watch is, it's a little messed up. I think there's an area on the head that got messed up. Uh... But overall, a good figure. He stands on his own. He doesn't need a stand. Some of the more intricate figures have stands with theirs. Then we have Deadshot from Suicide Squad masked they have an unmasked version i was gonna look into the uh, collecting more from this series but i don't know deadshot seemed to be my only really favorite character i liked they have a whole bunch but i really liked the way he looked in this movie and plus will smith is one of my favorite actors so i was like why not i have to get this one <laughs> really cool they even have detail on the gun it says i am the light the way you can see it here, but they even detailed it here on the actual gun. That was really cool. The next three are all from Sailor Moon, because I am a Moony. I'll go with the first one. An exclusive to Hot Topic only. This is Sailor Moon with her Moonstick and Luna. Now, I don't really like that they included Luna with the bandages with this one, because the regular one is her doing her little hand gesture poses, and it has the regular... Luna. I feel like the bandaged one would be more suiting with this, and because this is more of a premium version, you would get, you know, the regular without the bandages on top, but at the same time, I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. Really cool, though. Really cool. This one actually does come with a stand because she cannot stand up on her own. I opened her once, but, you know, I like to keep them in the box to preserve the life of them. Next pop we have is... Tuxedo Mask, or in the Japanese version, Tuxedo Kamen. He is pretty cool in itself. He even has his little rose, you know, he throws near Sailor Moon when she's battling. He does not have a stand, because he can stand up himself fine. And, you know, I just figured, you know, you cannot have Sailor Moon without Tuxedo Mask, so that's why I got him. Next we have a different Sailor Moon. I actually stopped looking into the series, but then they made the Outer Sailor Senshi and this one, which is a Box Lunch exclusive, and I think Box Lunch is like some kind of a... I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it was probably one of those boxes you get mailed to you every month or so, and this happened to be one that was exclusive to those. So this is her in her Supers outfit, or Crises outfit as they call it on the box. I always thought she looked pretty dope in this outfit as the Outer Sailor Senshi, because they were released around the same time as this one. It's coming off a little bit, but I don't really don't care. <laughs> really cool looking. They even have her little bow. It was bigger in this outfit than on her regular suit. So they made that proportion to size very well. Next we have Eleven from Stranger Things with her Egos. Now this one was pretty rare. I, th I got into Stranger Things a little late. My whole family watched it before me, even though I was the one that got them into it. 
but I happened to pick this up at a local comic shop, and you know, trying to find this still in the box new now would probably be pretty pricey, and the guy at the comic book shop gave this to me for fairly cheap. I think I paid, I don't even know where the stick is off, I'll take it off. But I think I paid, you know, normal $11.99, $10.99, $12 for this. And she's really nice looking. I don't think she has a stand. Oh wait, no, she does. I see it in there. But you know, you got her as she walks out the um, grocery store with her box of Egos. No chill. <laughs> I think she looks awesome. I do want to collect more from this line. The speaker messed the video up. I do want to get more from this line though. The underwater one looks pretty cool, and I would like to get the four boys as well. Maybe Joyce and Hopper too. You'll see. I took a little break for a good couple months from collecting for a while, but then I found this one at a uh, Second and Charles. Not too many of those in the U.S. But um, this is Major from Ghost in the Shell. I watched the live action version, and I think this is what um, this one is perceived as. But Ghost in the Shell is actually based off a anime movie, which was actually pretty well. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely check it out. The live action is pretty good too, but a lot of pe pe more people praise the um, original anime because you know that's where it came from. Major is the main character, Batu. Batu. I don't remember how to say his name. He's more of a side character, but he's still pretty important, too. As for the geisha in the live action, their faces open up and stuff. It'd be cool if they had a open face one geisha, but they don't. But for some reason, I don't see the geishas featured in the actually, um, the original anime, so... Unless I haven't seen... There's more to it, but the original, very first Ghost in the Shell does not show any geishas at all. I guess they just decided to add them for the movie. But she's pretty cool. She comes with a stand as well, and I didn't notice it till now. The ends of her hair are actually blue. And then she's got, holding a gun in her little suit. She's technically an AI with, like, a human mind. Very cool movie if you haven't seen it. So yeah, that's all the time I have for you guys today with this video. You guys are probably wondering why I'm in a completely different outfit, but um, my camera battery died in the middle of filming that one, so had to order a new one, no biggie, We're back on the air, I guess you could say, um, but yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed making that video, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, I may end up making a series out of this, you know, with the seven I have now, we're, we're just getting started, you know, the possibilities are endless, I might end up doing like a part two, part three, part 200, I don't know. Before you guys get going, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Click the bell and you can receive notifications every time I make a new video. This has been Dauntless Dom. I'll see you guys in the next video.